In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use a person's prior response in your chatbot. So if we go to our test bot, we can see that we have two hello statements this time. And the first one we're asking, hello, I am a chatbot. What is your name? And this goes to hello too. And if we look at hello two, we can see it says, hello, some code. I'm looking forward to chatting with you. And what this does is takes the response to the interaction 1267890 and inserts it there. So how do we know that that hello one is 1267890? Uh, all you need to do, uh, it's written right there. Or you can go over here to interaction and you can see the interaction numbers for the ID numbers for each of the different interactions. So you can either type all this in or what you can also do is just type in prior response and you'll get that little thing and you just put in uh, what interaction number you want the response from. Now, the fallback is if for some reason they don't type anything and are able to uh, proceed anyway, um, what this will do is type, oops, something is wrong, let's start over. Now, that phrase, start over, is special because if we go to configure, and look at our bot settings, we can see that our restart command is start over. So if we go back to our bots and two, what'll happen is that if there is no response to interaction 1267890, the bot will type, oops, something is wrong, let's start over. And by having that start over, it'll loop back to the first hello. So if we test this real quick, hello, I'm a chatbot, what is your name? We type in John and the chatbot says, hello, John, I'm looking forward to chatting with you. And basically this is just a way to make your bot appear smarter or appear more realistic as, uh, you know, you talk to somebody and you mention their name that feels more personal. Um, there's other things you can do too, like, you know, you might ask them a question, what is your favorite fruit? And then you would just use a response to interaction and a preceding interaction um, to be able to get what they typed in as their favorite fruit and use that in your, uh, your ongoing messages. And that's all we have for using a uh, customer response, uh, prior response for your uh, chatbot.